Are you after a sturdy wallet that can take a hyper beam, look cute like a garter ball, and be slim like a sudawudu? Well, I got you covered. Introducing the Ridge Wallet, a slim, sexy way to carry around your cards and cash. I've used the Ridge Wallet for over 69 years now. The Ridge Wallet comes in a variety of styles to suit your everyday needs. These are some of the wallet styles I like the best, like the carbon fiber, the titanium, the gold, really nice cool designs to make you stand out. They also have some neat products to complement your wallet, like a bottle opener, pens, backpacks, charging, knives, you name it. You can get 10% off your purchase today with free worldwide shipping and returns by going to ridge.com slash pipnight. Yes, that's right, ridge.com slash pipnight and use code pipnight Link in the description of the video. Cheers, Ridge, for the channel sponsor. What's up with you? For today's video, with me full Eternatus team. Shiny Eternatus has just been released, and I thought I'd celebrate this by doing a team based on Eternatus and using six different Eternatus sets and having lots of fun. I've got two battles today with the Eternatus team, and I hope you enjoy. I've actually put three different Eternatus codes throughout this video, too, in a hidden spot. If you can find them and claim them first, they are yours. First battle here, this one is against Arts, and we've got a very interesting team here. If you can guess what the theme teams are throughout the video, let me know in the uh, comment section as always. So my first Pokemon is a Turtus. So it goes like, if you haven't seen it before, it goes like a, uh, a red, a pinky red sort of color. So this is a physical Turtus. It's, uh, it, it's really, really strong. I've got a choice band and set. Let me give it to you. Giga Impact, Brutal Swing, Poison Jack, and Dragon Tail. So we got an Icy Wind uh, Frost Slash here, which is interesting though. I wonder why they were using like Icy Wind over Ice Beam or Blizzard. So I almost took it out with the Brutal Swing and then I got to see why it was Icy Wind. It was the Icy Wind Destiny Bond combination. And unfortunately, Eternatus is going to swallow the bait and both Pokemon are going to fight. Oh, I did it. So that's one Eternatus down there. And just to make things a little bit more salty, I got a cursed body on my Brutal Swing. Wow, I would have been struggling the next turn. That would have been incredible. A choice band struggle Eternatus only on people on channel. Now, the next Pokemon I'm going to send out here, guess what? It's going to be Eternatus as well. Uh, we got the Celebi as the next Pokemon out here. Now, I'm going to give you a question of the day, right? And man, someone's going to be dedicated to watch this. How many sparkles were in both battles? Now, that could be on my team and the opponent. So count all the shiny Pokemon sparkles that happen. There's going to be like 69. So I've got this uh, Eternatus set. We've got a Turner Beam. we got a uh, Giga Impact and High Beam. I've got the Eject Button as the item. I've got Max Attack and Max Special Attack EVs. Now, a cool thing uh, was actually pointed out here. If you notice on a Turner Beam, right, the uh, the big hand is actually shiny as well. It's not like the normal colors. So that was a nice little touch there. So Celebi is actually going to be able to live that one. Celebi is fairly bulky, so I did have a chance of expecting to live. And it's going to be setting up a Psychic Terrain. So clearly the Celebi is going to be using a psychic type move so i'm on recharge this turn and here comes an expanding force and that is definitely going to be taking me out in a one shot there which sucks so i've got to take this celebi out you know lickety split people so two of my teams down right here and now i'm going to be going to the third shiny eternus now the second battle that's coming up is a very very special battle as well so make sure you check out this whole video i've got something pretty awesome coming so i've got a toxic spikes veno shock scary face dragon pulse set now, at this point of the game, I couldn't use Toxic Spikes because my opponent had a Poison-type Pokemon. So, there was no point laying them spikes down uh, freshly on the field. So, Celebi is going to be fainted there. The next Pokemon to come out here is going to be Hydreigon. I'm not really sure what this theme team is, so if you can guess it, just let me know. I'm still trying to figure it out myself. So, go for a scary phase here, just in case Hydreigon is a speedy set, or I fail to take out, which I know that I'm probably going to with this move set. And it is a Dragon type too, so it's uh, super effective against my whole team. It turned out to be a physical outrage set, so I'm like, okay, this is very, very bad. Now, I've got the red card as the item which works perfectly with toxic spikes but of course i wasn't using that uh strategy so out comes katana here now katana is a very very scary pokemon so i'm gonna be using scary face again that actually looks really cool on shiny eternus when you use a uh, uh, scary face it's sort of like molds in with the eternus's face right there so my um my moveset 
EVs. We had max speed and we also had max special attack. Uh, and this comes, I will say this, this comes with six IVs normally and it comes with Tim and Nature. So that's the set IVs and Nature you can get. I mean, you could change the Nature if you wanted with a, uh, um, you know, a, a candy or whatever. Sorry, a mint, mint candy uh, if you'd like to. But uh, Timmin is pretty good. But, uh, you know, both Timmin and Modest would be you know, best on a turn to see So I'm going to bring in my turn to set. This is a Meteor Beam set. Just look at, wow, I've got two Meteor Beam set. This is my Power Herb set. So we've got our P, uh, yeah, Agility, uh, Meteor Beam, Fly, and Solar Beam. So this is a pretty interesting set, all based around the uh, Power Herb. So we're going to be going for that a Meteor Beam there, and Katana gets absolutely dominated in one shot, which is awesome. Now, I actually found out, like, Katana's like, I don't know, it's like really, really tiny. It's like the tiniest Pokemon ever. I mean, not the pr tiniest one, but it's just like a tiny little, like, flying piece of paper. So we're going to have the next Pokemon. It's going to be the Naganal Del. I'm going to go for a fly in the sky, and it's going to be going for a scale shot. Like, okay, I don't think fly will take this out. I wonder what sort of set the scale shot uh, Naganal Del is. So uh, we've got, did that, I think that said Basin? I'm not sure. i got to read that again. Imagine if that was your Basin, like, you, you, you know, you go to the shower, you go to the you know, toilet and stuff, and then you go to wash your hands, right? And Naganado's mouth just, you know, just opens and you, you wash your hands. That's so very, very scary. So next Pokemon I'm bringing in is going to be a Turtus. Wow, imagine that. I got hit by five, like five times by a scale shot too. Now, this might be some sort of scumbag King's Rock set. I'm not really sure. Uh, it's going to get a beast boost in speed. So there's, there's no way I'm outspeeding this. Even uh, a choice scarf for Turtus would be having trouble. We're going to go into our next set. And this one is... I believe this is my bulky set there. Yes. Um, also, in the battles, I had to take... I eventually just took out when pressure came you know, out because it came out like every single time. So it was using up like a, you know, a lot of animation time. So it's going to go for a laser focus instead. I have to take it out now. Go for the Dragon Tail. And I did. I took it out in one shot, which is good. At least I was going to you know, do some damage there. That's the thing about Scale Shot. It does kind of make you, uh, you know, susceptible to getting hit pretty hard there. Naganaldo isn't exactly the your hardest style. Bulkiest Pokemon out there. Uh, we got the Hydreigon coming in, and it is going to be the Dynamax Pokemon. Now, this one wasn't the Choice Bandit set. Ah, oh, this is a Scope Lens set. So I've got Dragon Dance and Dragon Tail. I know, a fantastic combination. Uh, the thing about uh, Eternatus, it doesn't get any physical Dragon type moves outside of Dragon Tail. So for some reason, it doesn't get. You think it would get Dragon Claw Outrage? Like something. Scale shot, like I don't. I feel like it could learn every one of those moves, but it doesn't. It doesn't get any. Maybe they thought, you know, Eternatus is already good enough. It doesn't need a physical set, but uh, it's strange that it does get Dragon Dance because you can't really make the greatest use of it in the world. So the other moves we've got here are going to be Cross Poison and Assurance. That's pretty much it. If you do look up Eternatus' physical moves, they are very, very limited. The item was going to be a scope lens. Well, it was a scope lens. It wasn't going to be one. And I've got out of nature, and I've got uh, max uh, max attack and max speed there. So that's going to be the end of the uh, physical Eternatus. Well, I liked, I liked it to be Adam and nature. I try you hate. Oh, that was just what I was uh, putting the sets down in, uh, in Showdown. I'm just reading them off there. So I've got Cosmic Power, Recover, Toxic, and Meteor Beam. This is my really bulky, scummy set. Uh, this, like, this Pokemon has got raw and, like, really, really good bulk already. And when you, like, couple it with uh, Cosmic Power, it's absolutely disgusting and stalling and gross. But I thought I'd have just one on my team just in case someone come across with, like, you know, a really powerful Psychic-type Pokemon or Dragon-type Pokemon. You know, yours truly here, little uh, shiny uh, Hydreigon. So the thing about this team is you couldn't uh, Dynamax them or G-Max them. I hope, and no, I haven't seen anyone G-Max a turn just yet. I don't think it's going to happen. Like, uh, I thought that it might. Like, when Sword and Shield first come, like, some, someone's got to do that. Like, <laughs> someone's got to do that. But it never happened. So I must say I was surprised there. I mean, the, the Pokemon, you know, they finally did something right. right? That hat check. That hat check's really strong there, right? So here comes all the outrage on the Eternatus. And I managed to take these all right. Now, the EV spread on the uh the bulky Eternatus and this one is also it's mainly based around uh toxic and stuff like that because it's just a uh, very very handy you know put the toxic down increase your defenses and recover off now, you've probably seen this set a lot of times too um it, i reckon it works just as well as the uh offenses there obviously a uh, the time of the battles is like a lot longer than it normally is uh the ev spread i ran Obviously, it was max health, and I actually gave this max speed too, because I don't really have any problems with bulk, because I only need like one or two cosmic powers, and it's very, very tanky already. Uh, item's going to be black sludge, and I've got this one as meteor beam, so I could get a boost to my special attack 
and I can be very, very bulky at the same, at the same time. The only thing that's a little bit susceptible to is a running out of PP. If you run out of PP, you're um, probably not going to have a wee wee. So we're going to go uh, for a Cosmic Power and Recover combination here, and a Turtus is almost going to get all of its health back here. Now, the prop here, right, this, uh, this thing was hitting me pretty hard, and then it stole my Black Sludge recovery. So, like, that's annoying, but it's kind of good at the same time because High Dracot is going to get hurt by the Black Sludge because it's not a poison type. So I was getting a lot of Cosmic Powers up here. Like, people were, like, trying to roast me, like, crit, 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 crit a week. Like, they were trying to make a crit happen. I was very, very scared of it happening. So our rage is now doing like only small amounts of damage here. I'm ready to try and take this high dragon out. It was actually, you know, almost taking itself out. So I thought, well, I may as well get like a maximum amount of uh, cosmic power boost up here. And then I can start going for Meteor Beam and increasing my special attack because I hadn't had any uh, special attack EVs. So here comes another outrage here. And I was hoping that high dragon would hit itself for confusion because like, if you get a hit in confusion plus the sludge, um, black sludge damage, that's going to be doing like a lot. So I go for my fighter recovery. I'm ready to attack now. I've got enough defensive boost up there. This is a very, very long part of the battle too, like something else. This went for a full uh, 20 minutes, as you can probably guess. So Hydreigon is just going to keep spamming Outrage here. Obviously, it's his best move. It doesn't really have any other ways to boost his attack uh, that I can see. So some more uh, Black Sludge damage here on the Hydreigon. Now I'm going to go for the Meteor Beam here. So I'm going to power up Meteor Beam, get that special attack rise, and finish it off the next turn. Not that it really has a lot of health back, but I thought it'd be good for the next Pokemon if I get like a boost up run. So now Hydreigon's going to go for an Outrage here. This is going to be its final attacking move. Uh, it turns us, it's taking those uh, my moves really, really well too. So uh, Black Sludge is going to be kicking in here. It's time for the Meteor Beam and it missed. I was like, oh, come on. So I got a Black Sludge uh, KO on Hydreigon. Like Black Sludge legitimately, I just wanted to, that's the reason I sort of kept this in. Black Sludge legitimately actually took it down from like uh, like half health and then got rid of it, which is really, really funny there. So bye-bye Hydreigon. Now there's only one more Pokemon left. And I was very scared of this Pokemon in the team preview. It is Landorus. So Landorus could have a ground type move here, but I was so bulky. I was like, well, this is fine. You know, all I got to do is get like maybe a couple. And then it's got a quick claw. And guess what? It had fish up and a miss. I was like, oh no, don't you do this to me. Like, like, like after getting all these cosmic powers, and then getting hit by fissures. That would be the most salty thing in the planet. So go for a recovery. Got my health back. There's no point going for a recover again. Because once I get hit by fissure, it's uh, it's all over Red Rover. So we're going to be going for that Meteor Beam there. Boosting my special attack. Now I've got plus two in special attack. Uh, the uh, Landris is going to go for that Rock Polish. And we got three minutes left of the battle here. Fissure's going to miss. I was like, yes, that's good. Keep missing Fissure. Keep on missing. So go for that Meteor Beam. I thought this might be a one or two shot. A lot of damage there, but I need another Meteor Beam here. And if the actual Landris lands the Fissure on my turn just right before I was going to go for another Meteor Beam. The Salt is real, people. That is the end of the battle. Man, after I got all those Cosmic Power boosts up preparing for Landris and freaking quick Lauren Fissure. Let's get on to battle number two, people. This is a battle against Joba King, and this is a very special battle because we have got exactly the same theme team. We've got an Aturtus versus Aturtus battle. So we both redeemed uh, six of the codes each, and uh, we thought it'd be pretty fun to uh, have a battle against each other and see what would happen. Now, Aturtus, I would say its move pool is the most you know, widespread kind of move pool. So I was kind of curious whether we had any, like, actually similar sets. So Turtus is going to go for a light screen here. I'm going to be going for a, uh, iron, like, a, not an iron tail, a dragon tail. Well, it would get pretty hard, you know. So here comes the next Turtus, and it's very, very shiny as well. Now, I'm going to turn my air on right now while I'm narrating this video because it's Australia and it's very hot, you know, all those uh, stereotypical things. Where it is, there we go, bang, and on. And there we go. Okay, the cool air is now flowing on top of me. I'm getting very hot and salty after that first battle. So here comes an Eterna Beam from the Eternatus here. That big old pink hand. It's going to be firing a beam out at my Eternatus, and I'm going to get dropped in one shot. This needs to go, because Eterna Beam is super effective against my entire team. And, uh, you know, you're probably wondering, too, you didn't put Dynamax Cannon on any of your sets. I didn't. I completely forgot to put its signature move on there. So uh, I was wondering what I should actually do uh, here. I was like, well, I'm going to bring in my uh, my, my own set. I, I may as well fight Scum with Scum, right? So flying up there again there, and we're going to have another big pink hand you know, coming out of the sky. Like, imagine this in real life. Just pops out of the clouds, fires a massive beam at you. Uh, well, that we, we wouldn't be much happening after that. So here comes another big beamy and a lid. I was like, man, this thing is thick. I think this must be like 
max health, max special attack, something on, along those lines there. So it's got the uh, leftovers as the item, and uh, now it's going to go for rest. It's a rest Eterna Beams there. So I have to think that it's probably going to have Sleep Talk because it's got rest. So Eterna Beam and rest and Sleep Talk. I don't know. What, and Light Wait, Light Screen. No, that was the other set. So I don't really know what other moves this is going to be doing here. Um, it might be the Light Screen. So I'm getting mixed up. There's too many Eternas. But I think it's just those three moves that it's got so far. So here comes the Sleep Talk and it rolls Eterna Beam. You wouldn't read about it. So this is bad. This is very, very bad. When you think about it, so the Eterna Beam of Turtles was my most powerful attacker out of all of them. I fired absolutely everything I had at this, and it still didn't vein us. I'm like, oh, what am I going to do here? Like, I know it's got a recharge turn after every hit, but the other ones are kind of, they, they, they don't really come into comparison in terms of power compared to my Eterna Beam one that I fainted like uh, two turns ago. So bringing in this Eterna here, this is going to be a massacre if I can get uh, I have to get some boost up here so go for a meteor beam here I'm going to boost up that special attack and I'm going to try and get some uh, real quick damage here on a turn this is the power herb set I was hoping that didn't miss too because uh, that's really annoying when meteor beam misses so firing off that meteor beam at the turns I didn't really expect amazing damage and yeah that's that's about in my you know, expectations there uh turn this is going to get another round of uh, the leftovers too. Now the thing about Turtus, right, it's going to have to get pretty lucky to be able to roll like, you know, Sleet Talk uh, and then an attacking wing. It might you know, even get rest, so I thought that'd be really nice. Yeah. And then it got a Turner Beam again. It kept getting a Turner Beam over and over again. I think we're going to have an epic Turtus uh, Meteor not Meteor Beam, a Turner Beam only sweep. So the pink hand is going to be featured again. Man, how many pink hands have we had in these battles? I'm going to count them right quick. We've had one in the first. I want to say there was at least one in the first battle. I think there's been four big old pink hands come out of the sky so far. There's four or five. One, one, one of those two numbers. So that's another return to down. This is looking very, very bad here. Now, this is uh, this is the Dragon Tail set. So the, 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 the least I could do here is get rid of this thing from the field. You know, it's on a low amount of health. I might be able to, you know, pop it off with another Pokemon. So here comes uh, another Eternus here. And this was uh, my best bet, which just kept using Dragon Tail over and over again. Now, Eternus is going to go for a Shadow Ball here. It's like, okay, I wonder what sort of set this is. Obviously, it's a special set. And uh, obviously, my special defense was, you know, going to get dropped by one stage. I like, never saw that one coming. And I'm going to go for another Dragon Tail here. It's pretty good damage there. I really wish that I had like a dragon dance up, then I could do like a more powerful dragon tail. So in comes, uh, oh, this is the sleeping Eternus, so I have to get rid of this thing. Now, the funny thing is here, right, um, you're probably wondering, um, I was cutting in the editing, I cut out where pressure popped up every single time, because you wouldn't believe how many times it popped up. And I, I want to say out of this entire video, it was almost 30 seconds of pressure popping up. Like, that's crazy when you think about it. So Eternus actually ran out of PP on a Turner Beam due to the pressure. So that was pretty funny. It was its only move. So bye-bye Turner Beam, uh, Eternus. I'm definitely not sad to see that one go. So the next one is uh, going to be sliding in there. And I'm going to be slipping up a, uh, a Dragon Dance. I'm going to go for Dragon Dance and Dragon Tail. Only on people are shallow here. These, these are the strats you need to learn, people. And then it used Dragon Tail on me. I was like, damn. So Eternus is going to be uh, a switch out of the battle. It will forcibly switch out. And in comes my next Eternus. So this is my, uh, this is my fifth attempt. Uh, it was, it was hard, sometimes it was hard to remember what like these sets were because like normally with these teams I I, I nickname them. So going for that uh, meteor beam, we're going to try and get some boost. Ah, uh, this is the this is the cosmic power boosting set. So now the opponent uh, opponent is going to be going for a dragon dance. So we both have a, a dragon dance dragon tail set. So. I, I knew there'd probably be like similarities. So this Eternus is going to have fly here. So uh, Eternus is going to fly high in the sky. I'm going to go for Meteor Beam here. The problem is like when it flies in the like the air, I fire off my Meteor Beam. And then, you know, obviously when I was on the ground, I've got to charge up. So at the moment, I'm kind of getting a little bit countered by fly here. I mean, you probably wouldn't hear that too often, but uh, you've got to remember which channel this is, people. So I'm going to get some more recovery here. I, I know this Eternus can't do anything to me at all. And I know my opponent doesn't have some scummy like one hit KO move like hidden in the back. So here comes that, that first battle. I was still so salty from that first battle. Uh, anyway, so we're going to get hit by a Dragon Tail. That's going to phase me out. I knew that was eventually going to happen. But I was thinking, if I do have, um, if I am down to my last Eternus and I'm like boosting my stats, 
then I won't be like phased out by Dragon Tail. So it might be a better idea to use that, you know, at that stage of the battle. So Atertus is now going to go for a fly. I'm going to go for Dragon Pulse. I think this is the one I was going to Dynamax Cannon on. That could, you know, fire Saturn out of Uranus. And uh, we're going to get hit by a fly. Not doing a lot of damage there. I can go for uh, that red card activation and forcibly swap out uh, that Atertus. So this is the fifth Atertus. I bet Kath had lots of fun editing this one with, like, no nicknames and just the Atertus. I think she said I was mean after for this battle. So I'm going to go for the Dragon Pulse on Atertus. Excellent damage there. Quality damage. And now the opposing Atertus is going to get hit by another Dragon Pulse. This was the... Actually, no, this was the max speed, uh, max speed, max special attack set. That was the uh, Toxic Spikes one, yes. Um, I, I chose to run max speed on this sub with Timination, you know. It was already there, so I thought I might as well use it, you know. Next Pokemon is, well, it's a turn. This. Now, this is uh, me just spamming Dragon Pulse here because I'm, like, I'm way behind in this battle. Like, I lost half my team really early on. Something's got to happen, right? So I almost took out the opposing Eternatus, and then it used Dynamax Cannon. I'm like, okay, at least Dynamax Cannon was used in this video because I forgot completely about it. I don't know. I was thinking more about a Turner Beam than a Dynamax Cannon, but uh, there you go, people. Dynamax Cannon was featured in this video. Even though it wasn't from me, it was from Eternatus, right? That is, I guess it was just meant to be. We're going to go into my uh, yeah, four, no, fourth Eternatus. Now, this was the Cosmic Power Recovery Set. And I was wondering what the other ones would have. No, this is the physical set with assurance. All right, we're going to play a little bit of Hat Tie 5 there. And uh, Atertus is going to be fainting. This is the crit. I got that crit from that scope lens, too. I think that could have mattered because assurance is like really, really like bad damage. It does have like a special um, like effect of it, but obviously in that case, it, it, you know, me taking damage didn't happen. So now the next Atertus is going to have Confused Ray. And of course, it, of course, there's going to be a move like Confused Ray. You know, Thunder Wave, something. There's always that sort of stuff there. I feel like my... I truly feel like the people that battle me just want to actually make me salty and rage and that sort of thing. And uh, that's never going to happen. So we're going to go for the Dragon Tail, phase that scum right out of here. And, oh, this is the Eternatus from before. Which one is this, though? I'm trying to think that move set. Regardless, I'm going to hope to take it out with a couple of assurances here. We're going to play some more little high five there. I'm going to need like another two of them. Oh, this is the Dragon Tail set. So here comes Dragon Tail. That's not going to take me out, but I can probably leave that for a little bit later on. I have to be careful swapping that one in. So I'm down to my last two Eternatus here, and we've got about four to five minutes left of this battle too, so Eternatus is going to get some recovery, putting it over half health. So I thought, well, I might as well go recover here, because I think my opponent might go for Dragon Tail, you know, heal that, you know, full damage up there, get hit, and, you know, go out of the battle, but it's going to use Flying in the Sky again, so like, okay, fair enough. Um, I have to be careful bringing that other one in, because I, I think I could, I might be able to get rid of one more Eternatus if I could get lucky with a critical hit. Like, I, the unfortunate thing is, I've got cross poison but that's not going to be a very effective at all so i'm sort of stuck using assurance and you know dragon tail well that's a negative priority move and i've only got a little bit of health so i pretty much have to go over the assurance so we're going to go for meteor beam here and try and take this turns out firing off there and that was enough to take it out which is very very good very nice there. I wonder if we'll get uh, any more moves like uh, Meteor Beam. Like, you know, you have a boost a stat and then you know, a two-turn move and you could, you know, once again use it with like Power Herb and stuff like that. Uh, next Pokemon is the Eternatus from before. This is a Dragon Tail set. I know this one. I'm going to go for Meteor Beam again. I was worried that I might get phased out here. I was like, well, if I get phased out, I'll just use my I'll just use my other one and hopefully take it out. It's going to use Light Screen instead. Like, oh, okay, that's going to be good. That's definitely going to be good uh, for the last Eternatus. I think I can still take this out. So frying that Meteor Beam off and Eternatus are down. We are down to one more Eternatus. To be fair, though, I've only got two, but one of them's on, on like a like a really, really low amount of health here. So I have no idea what this set is going to be. I have only seen like... I think I've only seen it like once. So I was like, okay, um, there's a light screen up. I've got to build my meteor beams here. I've only got a couple of them left, so I'm asking you to try and make use of that now. Because with pressure, there's only a bit to go. So now it's going to use substitute. I'm like, no, this is very bad because it could stall my meteor beams out here with substitute. And it could possibly have recover too. I don't know what sort of moves it's got. So it's throwing up the sub to get the dub there. And, the, man, that sub tube took, like, a massive hit there. Like, big W for the sub there. I've actually got a sub tube, Joel, uh, like a real-life one. It's massive. Like, I've shown it on stream a couple of times. You can probably put both your arms around it. That's how big it is if you've got long arms and stuff. You know what I mean? So I'm going to be confused there. Two minutes left of the battle, I did a risky swap here into a Turtus. I thought they may go for another sub. 
And I could get a free swap in. I could probably break that sub, conserve a bit of PP, or maybe see what the moose set is going to be. So now it's going to throw up another sub too. This is the last one it can use. Yeah, I was like, okay, this is good. This is good. It's time to go for assurance. The other move that it was hiding was going to be hyper beam. I was like, oh no, this is very, very bad. So my last turn just gets hit by a massive beam and a turn is going to fade. So all I've got left is the cosmic power meteor beam set. Now, I don't know if my opponent has recovered yet because it hasn't used one move. That's the only thing it hasn't used. Like, okay, what can I do here? Like, I, I, I probably have to go for cosmic power because I've only got one left. So it's like, okay, we've got 50 seconds left of the battle. Let's go for cosmic power. I know that I can live a high beam. I'm just going to make sure I live it like really, really well. There's no point attacking now, right? So I've got uh, two cosmic powers up here. 40 seconds left of this battle going, and I was expecting, okay, maybe a quarter of my health in with high beam. Maybe a little bit more. It's got a lot of special attack. So a turn is going to go for a round. I was like, what? Don't tell me it's rounded throat spray. It was rounded throat spray, and it's going to get a special attack boost. Then people started spamming like crit, 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 crit. I was like, no, no, no. So I was, what I was going to do right here, I, I took so much damage. I went for a cover. He healed up two damage. It's going to change everything. So we had seven seconds of this battle left. I was crossing my fingers and hoping that the uh, Hyper Beam did not crit me. Otherwise, I would be very, very salty. So here it comes. Here's the Hyper Beam. Please no crit. And the crit did not happen. It only did a quarter of my health. And that, my friends, is the end of the Eternatus battle. What a battle. Uh, what a bunch of battles. So hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you leave a like there. And I'll catch you for another video tomorrow. Peace out.